Most people don't realize, but Microsoft Windows now includes a free built-in pre-installed video editor called ClipChamp. I use it myself and I have to say it's actually very good. It even includes screen recording features that lets you choose to record your screen and camera, just your camera, your screen or audio. Not only that, you get a complete comprehensive set of video editing tools as well. Best of all, it's three, um, no watermarks, usage or time limits. So let's get into it. To open the video editor, just type ClipChamp in the Windows search bar. If for some reason it's not installed on your PC, you can find it in the Windows Store and install it from there. I'll leave a link in the video description. Or you can even open uh, ClipChamp online. Just visit clipchamp.com in your web browser and log in. Again, I'll leave a link in the video description. Okay, so once you open ClipChamp, you'll be presented with the overall uh, video editor dashboard. In the center, there's a preview uh, for any media that you've imported into the editor. And then on the left-hand side and the right-hand side, you've got a couple of menus. So on the left-hand side, you can expand the menu and you can see any media that you might have imported into the video editor. There is a pre-installed content library uh, with different themes that you can use for free again. There are various templates uh, that you might want to use when creating your video, uh, text and text effects that you can add, and then transitions between various uh, pieces of media that you import. On the right here, again, another expandable memory um, menu, I should say. There's uh, a menu for audio. And various filters and effects. But uh, today we're looking at screen recording. So the way you would do that on the left hand menu, click on record and create. And here it's giving you quite a few options in terms of screen recording. So the first one is you can record your screen and camera at the same time. You can record just your camera. You can record just your screen, including video if you wanted to, or you can record just an audio clip if you want to do that separately. So we'll just look at screen. So I'll click on that. And then here you can see a little pop up and you can select here if you want to have audio included. So I'm not going to do audio for the purposes of this little uh, demonstration and then just click on record. Once you click on record, it says, do you want to record just the window you're in um, or do you want to record the entire screen? I want to record everything that's on my screen for this particular demo. Uh, and as I said before, we don't want to enable audio. Uh, click on share. Once you've clicked on sharing, that is now starting to record. You can just hide that little notification if you want to. So if I just visit, say, a browser, if I go to my YouTube channel, just for the purposes of the de demo, and move around uh, in that channel, once I've done that for a bit and you think, well, that's everything that I want to capture, then you can just go back to the um, ClipChamp app and then just press stop. So here you get the option uh, where you can preview what you've just recorded. So you can retake the recording if you've made some mistakes uh, or you can press save and exit. So I'll just click on that. So the neat thing about this is straight away, uh, it's dropped you into the video editor. So here in the center, in the preview, you can see uh, the screen that I've recorded. At the bottom is a timeline. Uh, so you can see your media on a time basis. Uh, and then you can, if you're happy with what you got, you can just on the top right there, you can export it. You can choose the quality. Uh, at the moment, you can choose up to 1080p for free. Uh, if you want to pay for a higher quality, then there is a premium service that's available. Uh, at the top here, you can decide to name your video. So if I just call that test recording, um, recording for example and leave it at that i can press play here and i can see a preview of what's going on so you can see in the preview screen uh, my um, mouse moving around at the bottom you can see where i am in terms of the timeline 
of, uh, of that screen recording. So that's all I wanted to show you today because this was just about showing you how to do screen recording. But if you like this video, uh, please let me know in the comments below or if there's any specific features of ClipChamp uh, that you'd like to learn about, uh, tell me about those too and I'll make those in future videos. Hope that helps and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.